controversy, divide, and debate. Are Confederate statues a representation of American history or a way to glorify the country's hist history of slavery? Many cities are faced with the decision to leave these monuments where they are or move them to what some call a more appropriate location. But a big move in this debate coming in Memphis tonight. Two of the Confederate statues are coming down. Fox's Molly Line has more. It is a momentous occasion for Memphis, but in the shadow of MLK 50, the question on our minds is, where do we go from here? Two Confederate statues removed in Memphis late Wednesday night after the city council votes unanimously to sell the two city parks the statues were located in. The vote leading to their immediate removal. <laughs> Loud cheers could be heard as the statues of Confederate Army General Nathan Bedford Forrest and Confederate President Jefferson Davis were lifted off their marble bases and loaded onto flatbed trucks. Forrest was a slave trader, Confederate general, and Ku Klux Klan leader while well, Jefferson Davis served as the Confederacy president during the Civil War. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland calling the night historic. These statues no longer represent who we are as a modern, diverse city with momentum. Confederate statues have been a source of contention across the country, with many debating whether they glorify the country's history of slavery. The sons of Confederate veterans in Memphis were in support of keeping the statues, arguing that they're an important part of U.S. history, but do not represent white supremacy. I am absolutely ecstatic. It feels truly wonderful to see us shake off the dark relics of the past with these monuments. The sale of the parks was a way to allow the city to remove the statues without getting approval from the state since they were no longer on public property. In New York, Molly Line, Fox News.